And Governor Whitmer also ordered specific businesses in our state to close in an effort to combat COVID-19. That list includes bars, restaurants and gyms. But 13 on your side's Shanna Grove is live now to explain how others are taking it upon themselves to close up shop. Good morning, James. As you can see, I'm reporting from my apartment this morning as we continue to practice social distancing, which is likely something you'll be seeing more of. But that's right. Retail businesses are not currently on the list of state mandated closures, but owners like the one at Liam Birch have taken it upon themselves to close. And she says it was one of the most dis difficult decisions she's ever had to make. But she says for the health and safety of her staff, customers, and community, Nikki Gillette chose to temporarily close all four of her local stores at the beginning of this week. Gillette says if they stay closed for a month, they're going to lose more than $200,000 in sales alone. We talked over FaceTime about what went into her decision. So many things went into it and honestly it was very emotional because it, it is a huge a huge hit and I don't know what the future we have but I just have to be trustful that it's going to work out. She is still paying staff scheduled to work 30 hours or more and is hoping to make that last for about three weeks. In the meantime, people can shop online, buy gift cards, or even schedule one-on-one -on -one shopping. Jola is also urging people to support other local businesses like hers during this unknown time. And there was supposed to be a fashion show at one of the stores last night. That is postponed. Jola instead has now planned a virtual fashion show to happen next Thursday. We have details on that on our website at 13onyourside.com. James.